iPhone storage full or almost full. That can be so frustrating when you go to take a picture or you want to take a video and you're not able to. Most people start deleting photos and videos right away and that's not necessarily the answer. What I'm going to go through with you in this video is exactly how to figure out what is taking up all your storage and then a couple tips and tricks that will help you delete things that you may not be aware of. So what I want you to do is grab your phone and the first thing we're going to look at is what is taking up all of your data. Click on settings. From here, scroll down and click on general. Then you're going to scroll down until you see iPhone storage. You're going to click on that. And what this will do is it's going to list each of your apps in order of largest to smallest. So you can see the ones that you are possibly not using and delete those. As you can see, Photos is one of the top um, apps that take up quite a bit of data. And we're going to go through that in, in the next tip. But first, I want to go through offload unused apps. What does this mean? Basically what it'll do, if you enable this, it'll automatically offload unused apps when you're low on storage. The other option you have is, I'm going to scroll down for instance here, Ultimate Golf 973.2 megabytes. When I click on that, I have a couple options. If I offload the app, it's basically going to free up the storage used by the app, but it'll keep your documents and data. So if I offload the app, it's going to save me the 505.7 megabytes. If I delete it, it's going to save me that total of over 900 megabytes. Now, if I offload the app, it'll save my data, but it's only going to be good if I can go back to the app store and re-upload it if needed. So most of the time, what I'll do is delete an app that I know I'm not going to use. I'll offload an app that I rarely use, but I still want to keep all of my information. So I recommend that you go through this list and delete any of those apps that you just don't use anymore to really save space. Okay, so you've deleted those apps that you're not using anymore, and hopefully that freed up quite a bit of storage. Next, the thing that really takes up a lot of data on your phone are those photos and videos. Deleting those are pretty easy. You simply go to the photo or the video and delete it. But what most people don't realize, here's a little tip, is on your phone you actually have an album called deleted photos. And what happens is when you delete a photo or video, it will sit in that folder for 30 days. This is great in case suddenly you realize, oh man, I didn't mean to delete that one. I accidentally hit it. You can go to your deletos, deleted photos and retrieve it. But if you really want to get them off of your phone and free that storage, then you need to go into that album and delete those. So grab your phone and let me show you how to do that. Click on Photos. You might need to click at the top left, Albums, to go here. And I want you to scroll all the way to the bottom. And what people don't realize is the recently deleted are all of those that you just recently deleted, but now you need to delete all of these to remove them from storage. Okay, so we've gotten rid of those photos and videos that you really don't want. But here's what I want you to do next. I want you to just snap a few random photos. And the reason for that is we're going to snap those photos and then we're going to head over to iCloud.com and you're going to sign in. And the reason we're taking these random photos is we want to make sure that the photos that you take that you can delete them on your phone, but they still remain on your backup in iCloud. And I don't want you to delete photos that you really wanted and find out you have some connectivity issues and they're permanently gone. So snap those photos and then let's jump on the computer and I'll show you exactly how you can access those photos and keep them in the iCloud and backed up. Okay, so you've gotten rid of the photos and videos that you don't want. You've deleted the apps that you're not using, but you still don't have enough storage. There is another option, and that is to back up all of your videos and photos through another provider like Dropbox. 
Uh, that is what I do. And one of the nice things about doing that is all of your videos are held in Dropbox. So if I delete them from my phone, they will still be on the Dropbox server. You can disconnect your iCloud and delete them from your phone and you'll still have an iCloud backup, but I really don't recommend it because if you turn that back on and sync, it will then, uh, you won't have those photos. So I would recommend another provider like Dropbox. And hey, if you like this video, I'd love it if you hit that subscribe button and the like button. If you have any questions, leave a comment for me down below and we'll see you in the next video.